All right, before the video begins, I'd like to ask you to please subscribe and hit the bell icon. You'd be doing me a huge favor. All right, on to the video. All right. So, if there's one question that's been prevalent around the internet when it comes to FEGC, it's when the hell are we going to get the next Marvel vs. Capcom game? Well, Capcom and Marvel have both been dropping a lot of hints lately. Like, a shit ton of hints. You know, with the... Marvel vs. Capcom collection you released. Not to mention Deadpool saying just wait until Marvel vs. Capcom 4 in the comics. You, you know, it could be sooner or later, you know, because they obviously know we want this game. You know, so I decided, hey, what would a roster look like? Well, obviously it had to be filled with a number of familiar faces, but also new faces. So I figured, hey, why not try my hand at making another roster? Since people really love my Smash 6 roster. <laughs> uh, that barely got to 100 views, even with all the promoting. But hey, I figured why not try again, man. Now, unfortunately, while creating this roster, I couldn't quite find a good template for it. Like, 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 I scoured the internet. C couldn't find shit. Like, just, if, any, if, if you're out there, and, and you're good at editing, like, please, please send me a link for a template maker or something. Because now I have to go through and show up my picks one by one. So forgive me if I reuse some footage, but this is the only way I can show up my roster. Alright, let's get into the video. We'll well, obviously we need him. I don't feel like I need to explain this. Duh. Well, obviously we need her. Of course. Okay, so this is a character I thought I need to justify. Why Wasp over Ant-Man? Well, I feel like she's a little more versatile, versatile in her kick than Ant-Man is. I mean... He's one of those characters that's really hard to make a move set for, but well, it's it's not like she can't do as many things as Ant Man, but still, I don't know. I think she'd be pretty fun to play. You know, just flying around, shooting at people, shrinking down to avoid attacks. That sounds pretty badass to me. Does that not sound badass to you? He's been gone for long enough. It's time for him to come back. She's been gone for long enough. It's time for her to come back. Should've never left in the first fucking place! Sorry if that sounded angry, but 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 yeah, just... I don't know why they were removed. Fuck is that dispute between Fox and Disney? It's not a problem anymore, though. Why the hell hasn't Nightcrawler been in any type of Marvel vs. Capcom game yet? He's got he's got so much moveset potential. He can do more than just teleport. Like he can he can use his tail to attack. He's also a trained sword fighter and acrobat. There's lots of things they could do for Nightcrawler, and I don't understand why they just have it. Okay, hear me out. I know a lot of people think that Shadowcat might be a bit of a one trick pony, but. I think you'll find her power is actually quite versatile. And the fact that she can face through things in order to dodge attacks. Or face through an opponent in order to get right behind him in order for a mix-up. Like, I really think she'd be a good mix-up type character. Also, apparently she can control her own density in addition to being able to face through things. So, like, you know, there's some potential for that. Plus, she has that pest space dragon that can come, that she could come, that she could use for attacks. I think it sounds pretty interesting, but that's just me. Okay, to be honest with you, Luke Cage is just for me to pick because I think Luke Cage is a cool character. Now I know his powers might seem kind of generic, but you can actually do quite a bit with the whole bulletproof skin thing. Like you could get most of his moves like counter armor, like like. 
Like, I don't know. That sounds pretty badass to me. Just him just, you know, powering through hits. I, I, I don't know. I, I definitely think there's moveset potential there, though. Duh! Miles Ross is kind of an obvious pick, but... He has enough going for him where he just wouldn't be derivative of Spider-Man. Like, he could actually do a lot with his electrokinesis and camouflage ability. Hell, make him a clone of Spider-Man. Give him the Echo Fighter treatment like Nintendo. I, I don't care, man. Just put Miles Morales on this roster because he deserves it. Once again... Ghost Spider actually has enough going for her where she wouldn't just be derivative. Because this is a bit of a comic spoiler, but it's been like three years at this point. She lost her powers and now has to rely on a symbiote from another dimension in order to use her spider abilities. Yeah, um... <laughs> yeah, but she didn't know that. She was actually called Gwynnum for a while. But yeah, man. I... I, I, I I think I'd much rather have her over Venom. Not not to say that I don't like Venom or anything. I just think that, um... I can, uh, we... I just think that, um, you know, she'd be a cooler character. Should have never left in the first fucking place! Sorry if that sounded angry, but, but, but yeah, just... I don't know why they were removed. Fuck has had this spew between Fox and Disney. It's not a problem anymore, though. Why the hell hasn't he been in a game yet? I, I, I know people think the Green Goblin is mostly known for using this glider, but he can do other shit, too. Like, I mean, the glider obviously has to be in his move set, but he can do things on the ground, too. He's got plenty of tricks and gadgets in order to use. Like, well, that or Dr. Octopus. No, no, I'm sticking with Green Goblin because he's Spider-Man's main villain. But yeah, I really do think that they need to put Green Goblin in this bitch. So we had a high-risk, high-reward character, and um, who better to fit that than Moon Knight? What have I been told this dude literally just allows himself to get hit? But just keeps on trucking through. Like. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, re I really want, um. You know, a lot of Moon Knight's attacks. To be where. He'll still take damage. But he'll still land a hit on somebody. Not, not like tip damage either. Like he'll actually, you know, get hurt. <laughs> I, I can't remember who had that idea. But I like this so much. I decided to steal it. This roster needs some more villains. And Loki is super popular right now. And, um, I don't know if anybody's, like, you know, seen any of the Loki comics. But, like, um, you know, the Avengers movies barely even scratch the surface of what he's able to do. Like, like I really think he could be, like, that, you know, tricky character. Hard to master, but once you figure it out, it... You know, he's so satisfying to play. Like, I really I really want to see Loki just shape-shifting and doing all kinds of, you know... Like, you know, crazy shit. But yeah, man. Put Loki in. Okay, to be completely honest, I have not read any comics with Hella in it. But she's supposed to be like this crazy, powerful... Asgardian, right? she got all these magical... Ability, so you know, just just do something with that. I, I I don't know what, but we need some villains up in here. So yeah. Okay, so anyone who knows anything about Marvel knows that Squirrel Girl is a really popular character right now. Like, and she's our obvious joke entry for the Marvel side. Like. It, it, it's kind of hard to describe um, what this character's fighting style would be like. You know, because she basically controls squirrels and has all of the proportional abilities of squirrels. 
Like, apparently she once defeated Thanos off screen, so, yeah. I, 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 I don't know, man, but she's just the kind of character a game like this could use. Well, obviously we need him. Duh! To be completely honest with you, we just needed some, some villains, so... Yeah. Hey, if you made it halfway through the video, then thank you so much for watching so far. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon. <laughs> Alright, back to the video. Well, obviously we need him. Well, obviously we need her. Duh. Should never left in the first fucking place. Sorry if that sounded angry, but 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 yeah, just I don't know why they were removed. I mean, it just makes sense. Street Fighter is the biggest franchise. Of course, they're gonna include one of the newer characters from the biggest franchise in this game. Like, come on. Plus, plus, she's the new main character now. Like, it just makes sense. Like. You know, why wouldn't they? Although he might be a little, he might be a little derivative of Ryu, but you know what? That, that doesn't matter, man. You know, just that, that, that's probably what will happen anyway. Duh. To be honest, I'm kind of surprised he wasn't in three or infinite. Like he's a big part of the Devil May Cry franchise at this point. I mean, Dante basically handed over the reins to him in DMC5. You know, so him getting in is kind of inevitable at this point. He's been gone for long enough. It's time for him to come back. She's been gone for long enough. It's time for her to come back. Okay, so they actually come from the same series with our group them together. And, um, I just like to say, I don't know anything about the Breath of Fire series. I know it's an RPG. I know it involves dragons. That That's about it, though. But, I, I don't know, man. Just, you know, Maximilian do had them on his roster. And not, and from the way he described them, I thought they were pretty cool. So, you know, why not? Let's just throw them in here. You know, screw it. It could be fun. Um... That's all I really got to say about these two characters. I don't know, man. Of course. Should never left in the first fucking place. Sorry if that sounded angry, but 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 yeah, just I don't know why they were removed. Fuck is that dispute between Fox and Disney? It's not a problem anymore, though. She's been gone for long enough. It's time for her to come back. Should never left in the first fucking place. Sorry if that sounded angry, but 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 yeah, just I don't know why they were removed. Duh. I don't feel like I need to explain this one. People love rival schools. People really want that series to come back, but unfortunately, it doesn't look likely. You know, so this could be the next best thing. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't really know much about, um, Batsu's play style. Um, but I, I don't know from, the, um, you know, from what I have seen about Rebel School's gameplay, though. He looks like a pretty fun character to you, so, you know, why the hell not? Let's go Batsu on here. Well, obviously we need him. Duh! I don't feel like I need to explain this one. Of course. I don't know shit about the Monster Hunter franchise. <laughs> Hell, I didn't even realize they had other characters outside of the protagonist. Um, but yeah, man. It's like Capcom's second biggest franchise at this point, right? You know, so of course they want to throw some new blood in there. Um, yeah, I just googled Monster Hunter characters, and she's the first one that popped up. So, yeah. Well, obviously we need her. Okay, I know Darkstalkers isn't exactly 
an active series. In fact, it's been dormant. But, but still, like, if I could just have one just for me pick, it's John Talbane from Darkstarkers. He's a kung fu werewolf. Well, actually, I think he does Shurikai and Karate. That's not the fucking point. Like, like, like he, he, he's a world that uses martial arts to beat your ass. Like, that, that, that is so badass. Like, like, dude actually has nunchucks. Like, are, are, you, are you kidding me? Like, why, why was he not the first character from Dog Soccer's they, like, they put it in this game? Not, not that I hate Morgan or Felicia, but I'm, I'm just saying. Like, yeah. John motherfucking Tal Bane. <sighs> All right, and that's and that's my idea for what Mar vs. Capcom Four could look like. Now, is it the best roster? No, I left out a bunch of characters. In fact, I'm not gonna get comments like you left out Doctor Strange and Thor and Phoenix Wright and Morgan. You suck, you bastard! Look, look, man, making a roster is fucking hard. Okay, I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember putting everybody in. I'm sorry. Damn. I, I didn't mean to leave him off. I just didn't really have time to put him back on. Like, I literally just made a roster of 60-plus characters. Like, I mean, I, mean, I keep bringing that Maximilian dude, you know, who likes to put these restraints on himself. You know, I don't. But there has to be a limit somewhere, man. Not, not more than 62 characters, man. Like, like just... Yeah. But, 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 but anyway, yeah, that's, that's my roster for this game. Now, now um, you know, and the, the, the woman past the characters, I want to talk about a few game mechanic ideas I had. Now, this first idea is a little crazy. How about instead of being a 3VD, it could be a 4 and 4. That might be a little harder to balance, but... I think Capcom could figure it out. Again, that's just a spitball, and it might be a little too much, but, you know, it's there. Another idea I had is one where, okay, let's say you're losing a match, right? But you don't quite want this character to die yet. You know, because you think you might be able to pull a comeback or something. What if there's a mechanic that can actually drain the health of one of your other characters and add to the health of the character that's on screen right now? Uh, again, I know it's not... Again, I know it might be a little more out there, but it's just something that I came up with. Now, a third idea I had involves the assists. Okay, what if you could, like, um... How to explain it? Okay, so you know how, um, when you do a special, you can bring in the assist and do their special as well? Okay, what if you were able to, what if, like, what if you're quick enough, you're able to bring in your assist character and have them do their special without you having to do yours? I, I, I don't know, it's just a crazy idea. Um, yeah, but yeah. Alright, anyway, that's the video. If you made it this far in, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. You may be doing me a huge favor. I'm trying to do stuff. Alright, peace out.